Hello, today I would like to explain you a very valuable weapon from the Shishan tradition that is called Maboroshi. Maboroshi was translated from Japanese uh, like a phantom vision or illusion and consists in a small weight, mainly stones, but after the arrival of fire weapons was also used uh, plump bullets or iron bullets as the, as the extremity of a rope that it could be a very, very short and small rope that it could be uh, handled on the different fingers or are also around what is the hand, inside the hands or inside the sode, inside the sleeves of the, of, the, uh, of the yukata or the clothes, traditional Japanese clothes that I am not wearing today. Uh, the characteristics for this method, also the employment of this weapon, it's to cover also several hot or several tough stuffs, uh, stabbing with the with the knife and uh, handling the knife, also cutting on uh, cutting on a uh, person in several points. But the key here is how to strike with this small weapon. The characteristics as an illusion, as a phantom, it's because it, uh, in the night uh, scenario we couldn't find this, uh, we couldn't reach that you are handling this kind of weapon because it's hidden inside of the hands and it's the key here for uh, the surprise techniques, the surprising techniques uh, that, and the deception that we want to perform. Then this, in this situation, please, uh, Sensei Rebecca Roca will help me here uh, to define this situation. When she, for example, is having a sword and she will try uh, to draw the sword in Tate uh, Nuki and after here will try to attack Makuan from here, the key, please, is to pass one more time and after here striking, uh, sorry, stabbing on the on the neck stabbing on the on the arms stabbing on the stomach here and also we could pass striking one more time and passing cutting and in several points we could reach on a very powerful movement and surprise, uh, surprising technique. Uh, this was uh, very well uh, was employed by the several tradition of the Shishan tradition, but mainly what is the Yabu line, the Yabu village, were known as having uh, handling this weapon on the left hand because they believe that you were normally more skilled using the tanto on the right hand. Then they used to employ here. Uh, striking from this situation on this on this hand that could break also the, uh, the cheek, uh, also the, the jaws, also the face wounds and also the hand bones as a very powerful weapon. But they were common, uh, they were known as having the protection here. If we have here this uh, handling in this way, we, the, the Yabu, were known as hiding the stone, hiding the, the weight on the, on, the, on the knife. And the other one, the enemy, was uh, believing that you are not handling any kind of uh, distance weapon. Then from this situation, they were known as employing this to strike here and after that, having condition to strike in different points and also striking one more time with the Maboroshi in this hand. We're also known for having also this common position on several sequences, like for example, this on this side, to be protected from here, because from here what we could have is to strike on a diagonal, a diagonal movement, also very strong, cutting here, and piercing on several points that are weak points, also trying to enter in on the lungs, entering on the internal organs here, and of course striking, putting and striking with, with the stone. This 
to us uh, several small introductions to what is this Mahaburoshi that as I have uh, introduced before it's known as a very valuable weapon and secret weapon from the system tradition. Thank you very much and see you on next videos.